today for the for the performance awards. Uh, I know this season has been one like we have never had before. Uh, so take a moment here and give yourself a pat on the back for completing the season. Uh, it's had more ups and downs, twists and turns, left and right, uh, and some 360s in it than I've ever seen before. So being able to get through this season, you guys now are, are stronger athletes, more resilient athletes, and you have this, this next level to go. So I'm very proud uh, that we're able to put this season close to 300 athletes in the water. Uh, you are a part of that number. You are a part of this process on getting this through. Uh, so it, it was a, a, a fabulous year as far as how that goes, as far as the pool time and all the other stuff that was outside of control, we were able to make this work. Uh, but I'm very proud uh, of how you guys did this year, of how you were able to get through, of how you guys did with these virtual online Zooms and all the stuff that we've never done before. And so it, it's uh, a little bit of change. But uh, the one thing that we like in Oakville Aquatic Club is resilient athletes that are able to change and able to adapt. Adapt is probably the, the number one word. So uh, guys, I'll come back to this again. It was a, a, a heck of a season of this uh, non-traditional base season that we have. Uh, as we look forward to next year and we see what everything's happening now in the country and stuff is starting to open up and numbers are staying low. And I, I think that's a really positive message as far as what next September is going to look like. Uh, an update for you guys, as I know some swimmers here are, well, where am I going to go? Where am I going to be placed? Who's going to be my coach? We are in the process, guys. As, uh, the structure that we created this year is what I call a COVID structure. Uh, we are trying to bring back uh, a little bit of what the structure we had before uh, with, with coaches and all that type of stuff. So we're sw I shouldn't say switching up the structure where, like I said, we made a COVID structure. Now we're starting to sort of say, all right, this is the shift. We're going back into the way that it used to be. Uh, we're trying to shift the club back into that direction. So the one thing that we need from that is pool time. And we are still working diligently with the town to be able to get pool time. Once we get pool time, we're able to run the groups that we believe we're able to run and then at that point we will send out that uh the placement information for athletes so be patient as you guys have been all season i know it's one of those where am i going where am i going i get what it's like to be an athlete so um that is one of those things that we're trying to get to you guys as soon as possible but it's kind of you're waiting for one two and three before you do four so once we get one, two, and three combined and we get that schedule and we get that all placed, then we'll send placements out. Uh, but be patient. It's probably going to be in August when we finally do that, or early August, I should say, at the latest. Uh, but as soon as we get that information, we put that stuff together and we send it out to you. So continue to what you do. Continue to be patient uh, as far as waiting for that stuff. And, and we'll get you guys that information. We'll get next season ready to go. Um, performance awards, guys. Let's get on that. So today we have performance awards. We are doing our performance awards uh, once again online Zoom like we did last year, uh, but the performance awards we created uh, were strictly for this year and you won't see this again. So this is uh, what we call awards for just this season, uh, where the awards that you'll see today is we created uh, an Zoom award for best online athlete, where one of the things that coaches saw this year is you had 25 in your group and you had 18 athletes that regularly showed up to your Zoom dry lanes and six that chose or seven that chose something else to do. Okay. Uh, being able to roll with the punches and say, oh, no longer pool time. Now I'm doing Zoom training. Okay. That's a challenge. It's hard to say, all right, I'm going to show up and I'm going to do six Zooms when I was used to doing 12 hours of water. Some athletes made the choice and said, you know what? Zoom isn't for me. That's a season that we're in where it, uh, I, I believe that sometimes excuses became pretty easy to sort of say justification of why you couldn't do something. But the athletes that we like here are the ones that say, oh, this is how we're going. All right, I'm going to adapt. Like I said, ADAPT will be a theme that you hear from this uh, awards presentation because you're awarded for your ability to be able to adapt to a new way and next year we'll adapt to the, the other way. But Zoom Award. So we'll have a Zoom Award for the athlete, best uh, male, female, online Zoom and athlete. The Core Values Award. The Core Values Award will take in uh, the entire season where uh, honor, commitment, leadership, following safety protocols. One of the things that you guys saw this year where coaches were on you more than ever to stay six feet apart. Were you able to do that? Were you able to sort of organize your lane, work with the athletes in it to sort of make sure everyone's safety was being respected? That's a core values award. In addition to the other values we look at, being able to, to go when you're supposed to, be that lane leader, show up early, do all the things that we look for, try and be that first one in the water, make sure you got your cap and goggles ready. All of that stuff is incredibly important when it comes to the core values award. The third award that we're going to bring out today is the intensity award. Um, and one of the things to that is working through adversity consistently uh, kept goals in mind where one of the things I saw this year where even though we didn't have a lot going on, it was 
oh, I got to leave early to do this. I got to leave early to do that. I got to do this instead. Uh, and athletes were making excuses on why they couldn't do swimming or why they couldn't do an online Zoom. The one thing that I ask every athlete that creates an excuse for you, where it's, say it's even on the fact that you're looking at, oh, I'm not going to be able to go that next group up. I got to make sure that I'm on top of my school so that I can go and do this. The first thing I ask any athlete, especially this day, pull your screen out. Or and the first thing I ask is, what's your screen time? An athlete pulls out their phone, it's six and a half hours, seven hours, eight hours of screen time. My first thing is, before we look to cut swimming and athletic activity out of your life, take a look at what you're doing from that online screen time. How much of your time is in text messaging? How much of your time is just Googling Safari or hopping on that stuff, right? Where as coaches, we're trying to maximize the amount of value you get out of our program. If you got to miss our program to do other things, why is it swimming that you're sacrificing to do those other things, right? So I call it personal sacrifice, understanding your goals and values, wanting to be the best swimmer possible. And the best swimmer possible is looking for every other thing they can cut before they cut swimming out. And school's obviously that number one priority, but making sure that you're realistic with what you're cutting out. The other thing I've asked athletes before, and this is the one beautiful thing about a PS4 or even a PS3 or the other devices that are out there is you can see your online usage. How long are you online playing video games for? If you're cutting swimming out, but you're doing 10 hours a day online playing video games, it's one of those things, right? So these awards that we're doing today, guys, what we're looking for on these next steps, once again, the awards that we'll go through, Zoom Awards, Best Online Athlete, Core Value Award, Honor, Commitment, Leadership, Following Safety Protocols, and then the third one is the Intensity Award, Working Through Adversity. Who is able to be that silent leader or even that vocal leader right at the side of the pool helping everyone out uh, and still making sure they understood that as much as this year was this, next year I'm going after that national cut or I'm going after my trials cut, making sure that you understand the one, two, three to get to the goals that you want to have. So guys, great job. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, online award. I'm going to throw it to Kristen here to start with uh, the junior age group awards, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the junior age group, uh, male and female recipient for the Zoom uh, Best Online Athlete Award. These two athletes uh, demonstrated outstanding focus, attendance, effort, and went way above and beyond in their training while we were out of the water, um, staying very consistent. That's certainly evident in their swimming now that we're back in the pool. So our male and female recipients for uh, junior age group Zoom online best athlete award goes to Jack Patrick and Aria Wang. Congratulations, guys. Our core values award these two athletes truly embody the Oak spirit. They've got uh, their excellent role models for the group. And for those reasons, I'd like to award Pierre Diaz and Felicity Liu the Core Values Award. Congrats, guys. And our third junior age group award is the Intensity Award. Uh, both these ath athletes uh, consistently focused on improving both their physical and mental skills all throughout the season. And uh, that's certainly evident and played a huge role um, in their uh, improvement so far this season. So I'd like to award both Zayden Deendale and Brooke Kissick the Intensity Award. Congrats. Moving on to senior age group. <clears throat> uh, the Zoom Award for senior age group. Uh, both these athletes were extremely diligent, conscientious, really focused on their form and saw really huge strides in their um, dry land and it's paying off uh, immensely in the water. And uh, so our senior age group Zoom Award recipients are Oliver Thompson and Anna Song. Our core values awards for senior age group. Uh, again, these two are excellent uh, sort of quiet leaders, great role models and their commitment has never wavered throughout the season. And I'd like to award uh, this Core Values Award to Adrian Kunz and Daphne Kalman. And finally, our Intensity Award. Uh, both these athletes have demonstrated consistent dedication despite uh, ongoing different adversity that they face through the season. Uh, and so the Intensity Award for Senior Age Group goes to Jacob McGregor Lane and Taylor Hardy. Congrats, you guys. That uh, concludes our junior and senior age group awards. Perfect. Thank you very much, Kristen.
Uh, next coach we have up to present here is uh, Coach John. Take it away, Coach John. Hi, guys. Okay, so the Development A Awards will start first, and then we'll do Junior National. All right, so the Zoom Awards for Development A are Jarek Kai and Maria McHale. The Core Values Award for Development A are Thomas Judd and Mariel Ward. Good job, Thomas. <laughs> the Intensity Award for Development A is Ajay Patadio and Riley Liang. Sorry, Ajay, if I mispronounced your last name, apologies on that. Okay, and we're gonna keep things moving with me and we're gonna to go to Junior National, the Junior National Award winners for this past season. The Zoom Awards for Junior National are Nicholas Gert Rousseau and Brielle Stropel. The Core Values Award for Junior National are three people here, Nicholas Sashade, Emma Leck, and Cordelia French. And the Intensity Award for Junior National are three people again, George Radjic, Avery Toes, and Rebecca Newton. Perfect. Thanks, thank, thank you very much, Coach John. Uh, next we have up here is, uh, is Coach Mel. Take it away, Coach Mel. Uh, the Development B Award winner recipients for the Zoom Award Best Online Athlete is Andy Lynn, Andy does all the exercises well. His goal is to get a six pack. So that makes working hard in dry land very good. He consistently does more, more than required at the practice. And his test scores are top two for all four exercises. And his attendance is 95%. For those reasons, he is the winner of that award. My female winner is Nora Ibrahim. She has top scores in all the exercises in the strength testing the top of all the DB athletes. Her exercises, she does very consistently and extremely well. So congratulations, Nora. The Core Values Award for the Development B is Ethan Liu. He's quickly learned all the skills of being a, a performance athlete and was moved up mid-year because he demonstrates the core, va core values really well. Congratulations, Ethan. Aditi Sarpal is the winner of the Female Core Values Award for DB. She always follows the protocols and was a role model for the newer swimmers and was always on time. For those reasons, Aditi is the winner of that Core Values Award. For the Intensity Awards, Andre Pluta is the winner. He's He's had to learn a lot of skills since coming into the program in September, but worked diligently, diligently, diligently to get them all and is doing really, really well now. Shreya Rajesh has worked hard to reprove and reach her goals on for this year. She's a quiet leader and can be counted on to complete the sets as they are given. So congratulations to Shreya. My next awards are going to be for the junior performance athletes. Uh, Charlie Vasquez is the Zoom award for the Bath best athlete online. Okay. His attendance is 96% in the Zoom practices. And in testing, he had one of the top two scores consistently in the group. He reached his goals in three of the four exercises in our last test set testing time. So congratulations, Charlie. Rachel Achanu Johnson is the winner of the um, is the winner of the Zoom Award for the Best Online Female Athlete. Her attendance was 93%. And she consistently was in the top two scores in all four of our testing strength testing exercises. In our last time we did them, she reached and exceeded her goals in all four of her exercises. So congratulations to Rachel. The Core Values Award goes to Reese Hansen. Reese is a group leader. He's always early, always prepared, and always ready to get into the and get into the water and get started on the set. He's also very good at remembering the protocols that everybody that we've put in place to keep everybody safe. 
He's always ready to help out and support his teammates and correct me when I've made a mistake. Thank you, Reese. The, uh, the core value award for females is for Lauren Snyder. Lauren Snyder demonstrates the Oak core values by making each practice as awesome as she can make it. She follows all the safety procedures and is a quiet leader by just getting in the water and getting it done. Congratulations to Lauren Snyder. The Intensity Award, working through adversity, consistency, and kept goals in mind, goes to Luca Gouda. I got to find his name here. Where is it? Luca Gouda. He has 93% attendance throughout the year, 92 in our Zoom practices. He works each stroke as hard as the others, doesn't sort of focus just on one stroke that he likes to do. He works hard at all the little things and tries to work on them as well as making the set, um, making the set work for the goals that we have. So congratulations to Luca. And the other award goes to Avery Wilson. She's worked hard through adversity all this year, always finding ways to do, be able to do alternate methods of working out when she's injured, making extra practices when she knows she has to miss. She has goals that she dis, dis, uh, pardon me, di diligently works towards. So congratulations to Avery and congratulations to all my DB and JP award winners. Perfect. Thank you very much, Coach Mel. It was really good uh, hearing those high percentages, guys. So great job there, team. Uh, Coach Reed, you're up. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we will be starting with the Development C Awards. Okay, so with the uh, Zoom Award, Best Online Athlete, the two recipients here, you know, great toughness, great attendance, you know, and push through when things got tough. Omar Abdel Halim and Julia Kaplun. Okay, so the Core Values Award, all right, to two athletes who show great leadership, you know, are able to do things on their own, very little instructions. All right, Daniel Bajanov and Mackenzie Couillard. And for the intensity award, uh, when, you know, when things got tough, you know, they kept their goals in mind. I know it's been a difficult year, but they've been able to push through and, you know, again, keep their goals in mind as they're trying to, as they're uh, swimming through practices here. Andrew Young and Julia Guzman. Awesome job to the Devo C swimmers. Okay, uh, moving on to now senior performance. The two Zoom Award Best Online Athlete winners, Daniel Demchik and Sydney Patrick. Okay, Core Values Award for the same reason, Eric Sutherland and Grace Schemelt. And then the Intensity Award, Battling Through Adversity, Vivon Chandy and Camille Albert. Awesome, congratulations, Senior Performance Swimmers. Beautiful, thank you very much, Coach Reed. Uh, next uh, presenter up is uh, Coach Ryan, who has uh, retired from the Oak Bowl Aquatic Club, but he has joined us today to uh, present his awards for the season. So Coach Ryan, thank you very much for, uh, for hopping on here today and uh, presenting these awards. Yeah, thank you for having me. And I'm glad I could be a part of this today. So uh, starting off with our Zoom award, um, these two athletes just fantastic job online. One of them is an absolute machine working out and the other has some of the best form I've seen from an athlete. So congratulations to Adam Sun and Quinn Malloy. Way to go, guys. Um, core Values Award. These two, I think, did a perfect job following protocols. They're both a little quiet, so quiet leaders, um, but very committed to the program. So congratulations to Nicholas Miron and Ava McClure. And our last intensity awards. Um, the first guy, is, he's got all sorts of intensity, worked himself up from the bottom of the group to the middle and even close to the top of the pack. So congratulations to Bill Wu. And for our girls, I thought she worked through a lot of adversity and found ways to just improve as an all-around athlete. So congratulations to Mia Kruk. Sorry, Mia, if I said your last name wrong, but try my best. 
Perfect. Thank you very much, Coach Ryan, for uh, for presenting those awards to your to your athletes this year. All right. Next awards that are up is uh, is my group, guys. At the the end of this, once I uh, finish the presenting, uh, we're just going to do a quick uh, closing, or I'll do a quick closing remarks, and then I'll set us up for uh, tomorrow's uh, presentations. Okay. So, the Zoom awards for the high performance group. The Zoom award for best online athlete goes to Will Breyer, and the female is Olivia Frost. Great job, guys. One, one of the big things that I was looking for, the, the ones that just get in there and they just don't stop working. And there was a bunch that would fall into this category. Uh, but the one thing I really could see about these athletes was their dripping sweat. And uh, not that they were the only ones that were, but it was, it was a regular thing. And even one of them would write me an email after a really hard practice being like, more like that would be great. Uh, and it's emails like that where when you're just pushing athletes, you, you love seeing the positive nature of it. What I see sometimes when you're pushing athletes is sometimes, oh, it was too much, coach. Oh, I'm not looking for that, coach. Oh, that's not right for me, coach. But the athletes just say more of that would be great. Uh, those are the athletes that I, I love having in the Oakville Aquatic Club. And uh, that's what really is going to get your results down the road here, guys, is the, the ability to zone everything else out and, uh, and put the work in. Next, we got the Core Values Award. As we know, it's the, the honor, commitment, leadership, following the protocols, the ones that get there early, that don't miss, uh, that make sure they're being accountable for what's happening in their lane, that they're being that lane leader. Uh, Alex Landa and Ali Wu. Great job, guys. It's, uh, it's great to have you in the practice. Uh, lane generals, I look at, and your ability to be able to sort of run the where you are. Uh, if an athlete has a problem on what's going on with the set, you're usually able to educate them before I can as far as what the particulars are in that set. So great job, guys, on, uh, on being able to do that. The intensity award, working through adversity, right? This has been a year where uh, some stuff hasn't gone our way. Uh, pool time hasn't been the greatest sometimes. Stuff's been shut down. Sometimes practice has been canceled. Uh, but being able to sort of get through and still show up and get the work done and have that attitude where you're being consistent and you're not missing things. Uh, William Zhao and Amy Wang pick up those awards. So great job, guys. All right. Oakville Aquatic Club, thank you very much for, uh, for hopping on uh, this awards presentation. Next year, it is our goal that we will no longer do this online, and this will be done in person. Chances are we will do this at the end of the season next year, as uh, we've all been used to the awards banquet that happens in October. Uh, we will not do that. We'll do one at the end of the year next year, hopefully, uh, in an era where we're not online. But, guys, I come back to the stuff I said at the beginning of this presentation, where awarding hard work is really important to us. Not having performance makes some of this a little bit challenging and difficult. But being able to start this year in September and make it all the way to this, where I could talk to every coach here and there's an athlete in each group that decided for one reason or another that they weren't going to swim in July. For one reason or another, they weren't going to swim in June where this season had too much for them. And I get that there's stuff going on. I understand that. But I love the athlete that says, regardless of what's going on in their situation, they made time to stay committed to swimming. They made time to prioritize their long-term goals. And that's what this is. If you made excuses on why something wasn't going to go on your, your way this year, you didn't, you didn't go back to your plan. When we do long-term planning, it's a three, four year, maybe even a five year process. If you're a young athlete, a 12 year old, where are you gonna be when you're 16, 17? Is nationals, is trials, is that the top goal for you? Is an Olympic, Olympian next step goals? Every single one of us as young athletes should be writing down those goals of what they wanna do. One of the biggest things or one of the safety nets for this season is realizing everyone was in this situation, everyone across the country. Other countries, maybe not so much, but this country, every other, every swimmer in this country was in a very similar situation. They didn't get the pool time. They didn't get the right hours. They might've been in a group that they didn't think they should have been in. We got water time here in Oakville. We swam us through that water time, guys. You will be a better, more resilient athlete from being able to swim September until July. So heck of a job. I'm incredibly proud of what we were able to do this year for this season. And guys, it, it's be positive on the fact that next year is going to be a little bit more to the normal that we want, that we're going to get some sanctioned racing, that we're going to get some real times. Long-term planning to get those goals, guys, to stay motivated. Even if September, October isn't what you wanted, make sure that you look back. Well, what do you want out of this sport? 
What do you want out of your time here in the Oakville Aquatic Club to get to that next level? That's the easiest thing to do is you go back to your plan and you say, all right, this is just a little bit of a bump in the road, a little bit of a speed bump, no problem. Next year, speed bumps are gone, shift it in the sixth gear, hammer, hammer the gas and off you go. That's the athlete I want to see. The one that doesn't make excuses, the one that stays motivated and the one that makes sure that they're the best teammate they can possibly be to make everyone around them better. That's the Oakville Aquatic Club athlete. That's the Oak Tough logo that we try and get. And the Oak Tough model that we want is we don't want excuses. We want solutions. Heck of a job, Oakville Aquatic Club. Well done. That's it for the presentation. Tomorrow, 1 o'clock, we got the grad presentation. If you are a young athlete, make sure that no matter what, you attend tomorrow's grad presentation. And you listen to some of the stuff that's said about these athletes, the resiliency of these athletes. Where uh, I was trying to figure out, I'm, I'm sure with stats, we'll be able to do a little bit more, but... The age group swimmer career is only around two to four years. If you want to make it all the way through this program, that's essentially a 10-year commitment. So if you're a young kid and you're starting off, what does it take to be able to start at seven and go all the way to 17, 18? That's a heck of a commitment. Some of these athletes that are going to be on tomorrow, they spend a decade with the Oakville Aquatic Club. So hop on, understand what it takes to be able to make it 10 years or close to 10 years with one club and, and get through it. So Guys, tomorrow is very important. If you're a young athlete, don't think that the grad presentation is just for the graduates. It's not. It's for the club. It's to understand the work and commitment that it takes to be able to go from the bottom all the way to the top. Oakville Aquatic Club, heck of a job this season. I will see every single one of you hopefully tomorrow at the grad presentation. Great job, Oakville. Have a great day. Bye-bye.